Painters. Well, good morning, Diamond Painters. I'm not sure if that came because there was a delay in my camera. <laughs> well, good morning, Diamond Painters, or whatever time of day you may be watching this. Um, I want to say welcome back to those who are con continually watching me. If this is your first time, welcome to the Diamond Painting community. I am unboxing a 45 by 60 from AliExpress. This is my first from Evershine official store. I ordered on April 19th. It shipped on the 21st and I got on May 11th. It was actually in Chicago by May 5th. I think that was a Friday. And it took over a week for them to ship out of Chicago, which I don't understand why it went to Chicago because I live more near Maryland side of Pennsylvania. And majority of my diamond paintings come through New York. But this is the second or third one ever that had to come through Chicago out of all the diamond paintings that I've done. Um, it's called the Gross, Cross Stitch. It's Girl Cross Stitch, sorry. But it's Rapunzel from the movie Tangled. It was $18.81. I saved $2 on it. So I only paid $16.81. It's a full round. 45 by 60. And we'll find out what the colors are. And it came with the garbage bag sleeve on this. So I just took that off since it came in a box. Usually I don't get them in a box. Even some of my 45 by 60s don't come in boxes when they're supposed to. Or anything above 40 by 30, they claim it's supposed to come in a box. And it doesn't. But this is my first ever shine. So we're going to open this up and take a look together. And let's see what we have here. So it comes wrapped up in the plastic. And you'll get a better look at this after. Where am I? Here we are. Sorry. <laughs> but I thought this is, let me put it this way. It's going to look really pretty. So it's for my five-year-old. I probably probably be starting this one next. I'm working on the fall owl now, and I will do a post review on the new fall owl. Oh, I got a little bracelet gift here. Love. I don't know where I stuck all my other ones. I gotta find them. And it comes with almost like the hula can type pen with a three placer. But, um, the tweezers, not in black though, like the hula can. It looks like a nine placer. Two things of wax, actually. There's two of them in there. Standard white tray, no baggies in here, but you never know. When you open up the bags of the drills, sometimes they stick them in there. Let's get the drills up. Nothing else in my box. And I probably will not be saving that box because I like to keep these flattened. I'm not storing back in the back box. So yeah, 45 by 60. A lot of pretty colors, and a lot of colors are having a party in there. There's an open bag somewhere. <laughs> I could tell. So I will be doing inventory off camera like I always do, but showing you guys all the colors, and I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on in this bag. Party time! It's one of the pinky colors that are all over the place. And it looks like my three tens are open too. You see that? They're outside of the Ziploc bag right there. Well, they might be open also. Mm, and my blues look like it too. Oh, man. It's my first time at an Evershine store and already I'm like, mm, meh. But we'll see. You never know what could have happened during shipping. So, let's... 40 colors. So I'm going to write that down for my post reviews. Because not all of the um, the canvases tell you. So let's open this up real quick. And we can get this going. And then I'll do inventory off camera. Come back on let you guys know if it was good or not. And this is cut into sections. Sorry for the crinkle, but you got to expect it. <laughs> you got to expect it. Let me use that stuff. So let me 
Uh, it's taped around the edges, so I'm just trying to get it off. Uh, I don't like using my scissors near the canvas. When I watch other people do this too, kind of like, oh no, no, be careful. <laughs> and even though I know they are being careful, but can't help it. All right. So this has a lot of the hua can symbols. So I'm not sure if Evershine is like hua can. And this is around. Yes, I did say that. And so let's see what the most I have. Okay, the most I have is 814, 4,326, only 1,107, 310, so that's not bad. Uh, 154 is kind of like a burgundy color, I have 3,600 of those. 977, I gotta see what color that is, I don't remember what color that is, but yeah almost 3,000 of those. So we'll check it out. Like I said, I'll do a quick inventory off camera. This is sticky right now. It's driving me crazy. But, so let's do this. I have the camera up really high right now and I will lower it for the inventory, but I have it really high right now because I want to make sure I can fit this in the frame so you guys can see how pretty it is. I fell in love with this image and then I found another one last week. No, actually two days ago that I fell in love with two, but I'm not doing two Rapunzels. <laughs> no, I'm not. So one, two, three, four, five sections this is cut into. So this is going to be fun trying to, oh man, put it down without wrecking up the, um, the sections, I should say, because you know how that is. We try to open these things up and put them down so there's no gaps and it doesn't work. <laughs> canvas looks pretty. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have any creases at all. And I thought this thing was gonna come in jingle jangled and messed up with how long as it took through Chicago, but yep, came pretty good, especially since it was in a box. And I'm used to those garbage bag envelopes things. All right, will you come up now? Yay. Let's take a look at this beautiful canvas. I'm already calling it beautiful and I haven't even opened it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get it down as far as I can. The symbols are very clear. Oh, I ripped it! Oh my gosh, I ripped it! Sorry. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, I ripped it. How do you rip a section, you... Ding dong. Oh, no. Uh, let's see if we can recover from this. Yes, okay, I did. That means it is really sticky. If I'm causing rips in the sections. Naughty, naughty, and all right. Ah, oh, there's her pretty face. Yes, this is my five-year-old's favorite princess because she has very long hair and she's like, I want my hair, I'm like Rapunzel, I have really long hair. She's my favorite princess. And then the other day, like right after this came in, the next day she goes and tells somebody, oh, my favorite princess is Ariel. I'm like, are you kidding me, child? <laughs> But no, she'll be happy with this no matter what. So I have to bring these two sections up because they're overlapping and I ripped it a little bit. I'm still ripping it. Let me get around here. Alright. Try not to be in the shot, but it's not working here. Gosh. Oh, the sticky comes all the way out over here. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste people's time struggling on camera. 
But even the, yep, the glue sticky is overlapping on this one. It's a big overlap. So that's why it was ripping on this one. That one is just because, that's me. Yeah, the big overlap. So it's like the overlap little crease of the um, canvas stickiness. But there she is. Let me see if I can get a good shot. I hope I got a good shot. But yeah, she is pretty. Very pretty. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a minute. But yeah, no, there's no creases. I don't know if you guys did see it really good when I brought it up. Very clear. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna pause you guys for a minute. I'm gonna put this back down, do inventory, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I do have some issues with my inventory. Not very happy. But first, let's start with the easy stuff. This is the one that had the drills. Aren't you gonna focus? There you go. This is the one that had the open drills all over the place. This was the only one with the drills spilled all over, all over the place. There we go, if I could talk. Um, the other ones were open slightly and I just had to go across them and stick the little diamonds back in there. Because sometimes they have the diamonds sticking in this little area. They're not in the bag, but they're also not all over the place. So that's number 32. Um, this one I'm not un very unhappy with. It seems like I have more stragglers in this one than anything. So I am hope I'm not short. Because I am short on one. This one says I need 71. I'm looking at these and I was like, that don't look like 71. That doesn't even look like 83 like it's supposed to. Well, I counted and I have 67. Am I happy with this at all? No, because I did have spares from my green heart tree. Look at the difference in colors. This is bright and this is dull. I'm gonna have to get a hold of the seller and tell them that they need to do something better because you need to send them out. I don't want no attitude about it. I don't want no, oh yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Um, I counted. <laughs> so this one kind of bugged me and I did count this one and I do have enough. I needed 82. I counted more than 82. So I'm supposed to have 96, but I didn't go that far. As long as I have more than 82, I was happy. So this one looked like it will be fine. I only need 96 and it looks like I'll have enough compared to this one. So I know I'll have enough, but this one bugged me. So I had to count it. And I only have 67. So I am going to contact them and tell them you guys need to send me out more. And I'll take pictures. And this one has a lot of stragglers too. There's a lot of stragglers. It's kind of discouraging a little bit. I don't want to be short. Because I went to rounds because I was having problems with squares. And now that I'm having problems with squares. I have problems with squares. I'm having problems with the rounds. I had like two or three diamond paintings already that are short diamonds. And I never had that problem with squares being short. So now I have this problem with the rounds. So this is the one I'm supposed to have the most of. This is the color, 154. No, 814. I'm sorry, 814. Duh. Thinking 154. Because I thought the 154 would come in a big bag like that one. But no. It's like a dark, dark, dark brownish red like some of the colors I know are different than what I've seen in the Cami Yee good colors because this is Cami Yee's these $7.99 for the green heart tree and then this is sorry this is the Evershine 
see the difference in the color? So, yeah, I'm going to get a hold of the buyers and find out what's going on. Other than that, inventory, all the numbers are here that I need, but I'm just short. So, other than that, the canvas was fine. I'm starting to like when they only come in one sheet instead of being cut like that because <laughs> you always have problems putting it back down so it lines up and you don't get any dust in between. But... Yeah, as long as they send me these and I'm not short on anything else, I, I'll be happy. So, yep, because I am short on 907 for the green tree. I'm going to do a post review on that one as soon as I get that one in and finish it. And I was short on the coffee owl, some 310s. But um, I had 310s from another one, so I didn't go crazy about it. But I don't have a lot of rounds in my stash, so I'm going to have to do what Ella said and go to the Hankins store. And probably buy those 447 colors of rounds just to have as spares because, especially if you're on a project. And at the last minute, right before you want to give it to someone, you're short. And let's say you want to give it to them for their birthday. And you don't have money in the bank at the moment. And you're short-handed. <laughs> and that's what I think about now this is not going to be a gift for my daughter or anything it's just something to put in her room but still you know you just want to make sure you have what you need you want to know you have enough of what you paid for because this is what you paid for you paid to have everything in your inventory and not be short handed so that was it a little discouraging yes but I'm not like totally upset as long as they send them and don't give me an attitude about it because give me what I paid for. Don't shorthand me. And I thought maybe this one was open and maybe it had some stragglers in the bag. But nope. It was only this, the pinky color. The pinky color, this one. So, so that was it. Um, have a good day. Um, it's raining here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope I did a good job. And that was it. So, yes, this was from the Evershine official store. I know other people have bought from Evershine, and I haven't really heard any bad reviews. This is my first one, so it's kind of discouraging being shorthanded because I wanted to give the store a chance. But that was about it. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, welcome back, Diamond Painters. I just have to rant a little bit. Um, after I filmed that unboxing I should say a Rapunzel I just had a vent I was watching someone else's YouTube video I think her name was Mindy she was unboxing a hummingbird diamond painting for her mother so while she was doing that and I was watching her she showed the canvas up close and I noticed the diamond painting was round and the grid was round just like this well like a dum-dum because I get tunnel vision when I do my diamond paintings um, I didn't notice that I received the wrong canvas I don't know if anyone else noticed that I didn't because I don't want to waste anyone's time and I just want to show an unboxing and I don't want to make my videos very very long that I have tunnel vision and didn't notice that my grid lines on my Rapunzel are actually squares so I'm not very happy at this moment with Evershine and I know they're a who can company and I've been basically not even buying who can after all the disasters I've been having with them with their squares and kind of boycotted them until they got better and to me they're not proving anything by sending me the wrong canvas with the wrong drills well the right drills I should say but the wrong canvas so now I'm just waiting for the sellers to get back to me but I just really really wanted to say something instead of just editing the video and putting down that it was the wrong canvas I just needed to vent and I don't want to basically um, depress anybody <laughs> but I just need to vent 
it's annoying when you wait so long for a diamond painting. Your short diamonds, which, okay, I can kind of deal with it because I can at least do the diamond painting until so I get more of the colors that I need, but then uh, I can't believe I didn't notice it. <laughs> I got the wrong canvas. Oh, I got the wrong canvas. Yes, I got the wrong canvas. And so now I have to wait probably maybe half a month for the right canvas to come in, but I better not get any problems with Evershine. I'm not sure how their customer service is in general, but if they give me a bunch of talk and they're trying to tell me I could use a square, it's just a square, no, I don't care if it's a square canvas grid lines and I could put it around in there. It's not going to happen, okay? Because I know Ella had that problem with the company too. She wasn't having it. I'm just going to be like, refund my money and call it a day. And I'll find it from someone else and reorder it because I'm not happy. Definitely not happy. Um, I just told them if they want, just send me the right canvas with the right diamonds that I'm going to need, the quantity wise, and then... You don't have to send me all of them. Just make sure the counts match up to what you already gave me. Because when I'm looking at the baggie that all the little bags came in, the symbol had a Japanese symbol over it, so I didn't notice it, but it was a square symbol. And also, you know, a partial Japanese symbol in there. Or China, I'm sorry. Chinese symbol. So it would have told me right there, they put rounds with the square and even the canvas number, I should say the canvas number on top of the canvas, the above the key matches the canvas number on all the diamonds, that bag the diamonds came in. But I didn't see the square symbol because I saw the Chinese symbol and I just thought it was a Chinese symbol until you look closely. So I hope I get everything right, everything is straightened out, and then I'll, you know, do a, another unboxing showing you the right one. And maybe I'll go through the Hankin store and find out how much it would cost to get all the square drills from them for that diamond painting since I'll have an extra canvas I wouldn't know what to do with it unless someone wants to buy it off of me you know for like I don't know five bucks plus shipping I guess if they have all the squares for that one so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it since I'll probably have an extra canvas so we'll see so that's what I'm dealing with right now I just wanted to rant a little bit let everybody know what's going on with this yeah and it's a rainy day on top of that and I got a little bit of sinus thing going on so that is not helping me <laughs> I'm like why so but I am working on the fall owl this is color 349 um, I forgot what store this is from I think it's Kami um, I know they have the good store some other store so, the only problem I had with this, with Kami Yi, is I had a short drills on two canvases, like I said. The three tens were short. And on the green tree, I was short on number 820, 826, actually. So, and they didn't give me a hard time to say, yeah, no problem. You know, they gave me a tracking number. The next day told me you know, these are your drills we're sending them out and they did send them out and the tracking is moving and they've been pretty good so i keep giving them a chance because they're not giving me a hard time and you know and the reason why i went back to them for those drills is because i don't have spares but i'm also missing almost 75 drills so even if I did have extra from a diamond painting, I'm not going to have enough still. So I just went through them and told them I'm, you know, I'm missing about 75. I did count them. I could have been off ones or two. One or two of them. That's why it says 75. But they didn't give me a hard time. They're pretty awesome, so I can't complain. And, 
yeah i'm gonna try to order some of those round extra drills from the hankin store that ella was talking about since i'm always short it seems to be on some round drills i don't know why but I, like i said i would like to have some just in case i'm working on a project for somebody and i want to get it done quick and if i am short ugh, and i have no money in the bank to give them a replacement gift until that one's ready and probably go to them at christmas you know because we do live paycheck to paycheck so when i do get an extra 20 bucks or we have an extra 20 bucks that i like to buy a diamond painting like once a month or so from aliexpress that's another reason why i don't buy any from diamond art club because i'll have an extra 20 bucks like once a month that i can buy a diamond painting so i usually go through aliexpress But I'm not into the, like, the abstract art type of stuff. So that's another reason why I don't buy it for Diamond Art Club. Even though they do have... It looks nice. It really does. The quality is wonderful. But I just can't afford it. And some of it is just not my thing. But um, yeah, I keep looking on their website though. To see if anything appeals to me. So it's not like I totally just gave up on them. Because um, Manzano over there. she, she Her art is nice. I'm not going to say it's not but it's not something that appeals to me but she does do nice work but if I get someone in mind for one of her artworks that's something very beautiful then I'll probably buy one and gift it so it'd be easier to probably work on than dealing with some of this AliExpress nonsense but uh, yeah but in a way I'm, I am trying to get myself in a better mood because we are going to Michael's later and the store that I'm going to actually has a 30% off all regular price item coupon. Which is good because I want to get an exacto knife. I want to get one of those old school paper cutters, the guillotine style. Hello. Okay. Sorry, my daughter was talking to me. Um, I'm going to get one of those too so it'll be easier to cut my diamond paintings on the sides of the canvas when I have extra slack. Instead of trying to make a straight line. And I want to see if they have any, not washi tape, but that nice duct tape for bordering around the diamond painting. See if they have anything on clearance. And they do have a diamond dot one that I liked. It was some orangey color flowers. It's a partial. Normally $30, but they have it on clearance for $11.97. So around $12. In store only. At the store I'm going to when I checked them online so hopefully they still have them because that would make me happy I never had a diamond dots and I really want to try one so that would be awesome so this is like my mother's day gift but uh yeah so that's all I want to really say and vent and talk to hopefully a human <laughs> but um yeah thank you for watching I know I thought the video would be done but I had to let you guys know what was going on and uh, all right, let me go because my little one's doing her thing now. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a hopefully a better day than I'm having at the moment. All right, bye.